Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Well, we'll start by taking a look at the high temperatures from this afternoon. Overall, it was a beautiful day. We we're in the low to mid 70s along the coast, low to mid 80s in the mountains and valleys, and a little less smoke today than we had yesterday. I remember yesterday I woke up, it was orange skies. We had the orange sun as well, at least in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and a little bit less today, although we certainly did still have some of that haze going on. Now, what helped us out was we had some strong onshore winds in the afternoon hours, which acted to push some of that smoke out of our region and you can actually see still relatively windy out there right now with some some gusts up to 15 miles per hour in the Salinas Valley. Now there are a large number of wildfires going on in Northern California right now. We've talked about these throughout the show but we'll just go over them one more time with the fire perimeter map. We have the Dixie Fire which is now the second largest wildfire in the history of California and unfortunately 627 structures have now been destroyed with that one with more information coming back every day from those current damage assessment teams. Now you also see a number of these other fires. We have the McFarland Fire, the Monument Fire, the River Complex Fire, and the Antelope Fire. And all of these have been kicking up a lot of smoke the past couple of days, which is probably why you've seen some of that in your area. Why we weren't seeing that before was because we mostly had southerly winds blowing that smoke up into Oregon, but we had one system that brought some northerly winds that pushed that smoke down into us. But like I said, we had better conditions today because of those strong onshore winds. Now, when it comes to the Dixie Fire, this is a active story that is going on as of right now. This hot spot right here with that yellow and red color right there that shows the satellite imagery of a hot spot being picked up where the Dixie Fire is currently seeing some extreme fire behavior and the reason this is such a big story right now is because of the large amount of structures on the east shore of Lake Almanor and the structures in the Westwood area. Now the main concern I think moving forward is that Westwood area as again this is an area of the fire where we have the most extreme fire behavior and moving forward we're mostly going to have southwest winds which will act to push that fire for further to the north. So that will be an area that we keep a close eye on over the next couple of days. But overall, with all of those fires we were talking about in Northern California, there's been some weird behavior with them over the last couple of days. They've been very calm in the mornings and even into the later afternoons because of how thick that smoke is over them. It keeps the temperatures down, keeps the winds down. But over this last afternoon, we'll actually click back and look at this one again, just so you can see how the Dixie Fire is calm earlier in the day and then as the inversion breaks, we start to see more and more smoke coming off of there. That was certainly what we were looking at over the last couple hours. So we'll have to keep our eye on that in the days ahead. But for our area, what really impacts us is just if any of that smoke finds its way into our region. So let's actually look at the smoke forecast. And good news is, is most of that Dixie fire smoke is actually moving into Nevada. But the smoke we are getting seems to be coming from the McFarland and Monument fires as it's pushed down the coast. And it looks like by about 3 p.m. tomorrow, we do still have some of that smoke over the Santa Cruz Mountains. Although on the coast, once again, those onshore winds act to push it out. So we can actually look at what that's going to look like. Right now, we have that marine layer filling in. A little mist and drizzle out there right now. I had the windshield wipers on driving to dinner. That'll stick around in the morning hours. And then in the afternoon, you notice those onshore winds pick up, act to push that smoke out. And it also pushes the marine layer out of Santa Cruz. So we'll transition to some some sunny skies there. Overall, just should be a beautiful day for our area. For the coast in Salinas, you can see low 60s to mid 70s. We do have that smoke in the morning, but the morning overcast and that smoke should be easing throughout the day. And then in the inland areas, you can see mid 70s to mid 80s, some hazy sunshine, but seasonably warm conditions and not in the triple digits. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty great forecast for us going through the next few days. Looking at the forecast highs, you can see 83 in Los Gatos. Another nice day in the Santa Cruz Mountains, just in the low 80s. Again, that's, I think, perfect for this time of the year, not those triple digits we had a couple of weeks ago. 73 and we will get some sun in Santa Cruz once that marine layer burns off. If we look at the Santa Clara Valley, hot spots always Morgan Hill up to 87 tomorrow. Much cooler as you get closer to the coast, just 64 in Moss Landing. And then you can see in Salinas, just high 60s up to 82 in King City. 
cool spot is always the Monterey Peninsula. It looks like Pebble Beach, just 62, as that marine layer sticks around. Looking at the eight-day forecast, we do have a warm-up coming in Thursday and Friday for the coast. Same story for the inland areas, getting actually back up to the low to mid-90s Thursday and Friday. Uh, that looks like my type of temperature right there, 95 degrees. Yeah, it looks like a pretty nice forecast coming up. All right, thanks, Holt. Sports coming up next. Don't go anywhere.